YouTube has been a huge part of my life since I was 9 years old. I've always loved learning more about its history and thought it'd be cool to start a YouTube series about it. So, what better way to start than with YouTube culture itself? I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some ideas, which are all really great. I narrowed it down to a few, like, big topics, but before we get into the video, I need to do a bit of a history lesson. I made a timeline for Agitube that is broken up into different eras, starting with early Agitube. Agitube began when ex Molly Girl X uploaded her first video on September 30th, 2007. Other popular channels during this time were Interdose Ginger and Steven's What a Dancer. Dance videos were really common and typically they were the only stop motions that people uploaded. Old AG2 was regarded by many to be the golden age of AG2. Popular creators during this time were Basil Mentos, Girl Theory Studios, American Girl 077, Aquila 1998, Forever AGs, AG Pals, Antonina, Hard AG, Mixy Mixy 7, Five Doll Stars, World of AG Studios, Katie Contagious, and AG Magical 13. Stop motions became the main video format, and AG2 grew from a small group to a community. It's not really a specific name for this time, but I consider this to be a transition period because many of the old AGTubers left, and series such as Aspen Heights skyrocketed to popularity. In addition, American Girl launched their own AGTube series, Z Crew, and encouraged AGTubers to post in the tag. Popular creators during this time include AG Smiles, Rockstar 13 Studios, Spark Fire Productions, Urban Chicken Studios, Laughternoons, Darling Dollies, Landy Can Studios, and White Box Stop Motion. The name New Generation comes from a live stream hosted by Blossom AG and Rainbow Live Productions, as well as a popular sentiment during this time that HD was dying and needed a new generation of creators to revive it. Does that sound familiar to anyone else, or is it just me? Popular creators during this time include Rainbow Live Hot Productions, Blossom AG, AG Brownies, AG Sunshine Dollies, Camera Cuties, Infinity AG Studios, Mixy Pixie 7, Dubai Doll Girl, AG Love Pug, The AG Studios 380, Pink Sapphire Productions, AG Spirit Studios, and 4 Happy Epics. In addition, Rockstar 13 Studios broke the record for longest AG as a movie with Wildwood. Although some long-running channels left due to YouTube's COPPA policies, some newer channels began to gain recognition for their creativity. Popular channels during this time include Violet Dollies, Dancing Dolphins, AG Spirit Studios, Sydney Jean Films, AG Cinnamon Studios, AG Jitters, Purple Dots and AG, AG World Sprinkles, AG Family Productions, and The Dolls in the Rain. Which brings us to the present! Now we can start talking about some aspects of AGTube culture, starting off with music. From AGMP songs to royalty-free music, AGTubers have been sharing songs with each other since the community began. Especially during old AGTube, certain songs would go almost viral, and tons of AGTubers would make music videos to the same songs. Some of these songs include A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton, Friday by Rebecca Black, TikTok by Kesha, A Thousand Years by Christina Perry, and Cool Kids by Echo Smith. Royalty Free Music has been used in stop motions for many years now, and most AGTubers go to Kevin MacLeod's library for background music. Certain songs are used a lot, like Sneaky Snitch, for example. This could not be a video about AG2 without talking about series. Aspen Heights is especially embedded in AG2 culture, but the concept of series truly begins with Girl of the Year Studios. Her series helped popularize the format and are still considered classics today. However, the most popular series are definitely by AG Smiles, and there's one element that heightened their popularity. Ships. 2013 to 2014 was kind of peak Tumblr fan culture, so people became obsessed with ships and the drama surrounding them. 
Her series had fan pages on Instagram and YouTube. There were fan made music videos, fandom content, and fan fiction on Wattpad. And people still argue over Kalita vs. Kalita. Side note, we all know Kalita is the best, and don't even get me started on Lenny. Every year during summer break, age YouTubers have utilized their extra time to film summer movies. It has since become a tradition, and the category Best Summer Movie was added to the Sophie Awards in 2017. Summer movies have always been used as a chance to try something new, from experimenting with the fantasy stories to breaking video length records. The last topic in this video is the Sophie Awards. The Sophie Awards was created by Mixy Pixie 7 in 2013. It has since been the main awards ceremony, with AGTubers campaigning every year to win one of the six categories. Categories have been added and taken away over the years, but best AGSMs and best overall have always remained the most competitive. Down below, I have linked the AGTube wiki page for the Sophie Awards if you want to learn more about past winners and categories. The final Sophie Awards ceremony was held this year, but I hope the tradition is carried on by other AGTubers in the future. Those are just a few aspects of AGTube culture! I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I have some other videos planned for this series, but comment down below if you have a suggestion for a future episode. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day!